Welcome back, folks, to the Crappy Valentine Cup Qualifier 2 Guide. For you guys that don't know, when I make it on the first one, uh, I put out guides to the other ones because obviously you guys are going to be able to watch me here on YouTube do it live. Uh, I won't be doing it. Rex will be streaming, however, but today we're going to be uh, talking about Qualifier 2. And yesterday was a lot of fun, um, especially because, as you guys know, I like to have fun in these qualifiers. I don't even really practice for them uh, until the day of it. So I hadn't practiced any crappie fishing until yesterday, until right before this tournament. I did one, one and a half practices right before the tournament. Um, so the fact that I caught 46, I'm pretty happy. I think it was 46 anyway, uh, trophies in uh, so if you guys want Rex, I'll try to leave the uh, him down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and watch him do it today. Um, but I do have a rotation for you guys here at Rocky Lake. Now there's a lot of important stuff. Hopefully I don't forget it uh, to mention it. If I do uh, check the comments down below, a pin comment. If I forget something, I'll put it down below. A few things about Rocky Lake, guys, um, that you're going to want to know here. So... This is a setup that I'm using. We'll start. I have some concerns having talked to you guys and hearing stuff in the stream yesterday. I'll address that today to help you guys out. Um, so this is the setup I would be using today. This is the one that I used yesterday. Um, so with this, when you're using bait poles in general, just not here either, you have to figure out what recovery you want on bait poles, you always want the fastest recovery you can. If you are not, you are just wasting your time. There is no excuse for it. So if you guys haven't watched that video I did on recovery, I'll try to leave it in the pinned comment below. But it's super important, especially when it comes to bait poles, that you have a fast recovery in, in comps and tournaments. When you're ready free fishing, it don't matter. But you're just handing away free seconds. What do I mean by this? So when you have fast recovery... Your recovery is how much it pulls in on one spin. If we turn this up to the right-hand side, if you see on the right-hand side, I turn it up to four and reel in, you're going to see how fast this comes in. That's how fast your fish will come in. But make sure that you have the proper setup. For me, on this reel, I have to have it down to one power, the one power. So I'll put my handy band dandy blue arrow down there for you guys. You see, I have it on one power right now. And that'll bring in your fish really quick. If you're using something really slow, like 36 recovery, like let's say a fire spin recovery if you're using a bigger pole, that 31 recovery compared to the 61 of this recovery, that means that this pole on four speed, or that reel on four speed is like this on two speed. So you're wasting your time. You want to get the most that you can out of it. Now, this is a setup that I would be using today. This is actually the same setup that I used yesterday, 20 inches deep or 50 centimeters. Now, you can play with that if you want. Depth isn't super important when it comes to crappies. Um, I've, I've never noticed it to be real important for them. Um, but you're going to want to start with your first hour on a number four or six. And then at the second hour of the tournament, you're going to want to go to a two or a four. Um, they'll it get a little quicker. Now, just keep in mind, guys, when you're doing this tournament, the first hour is going to be slow. If you can come out of that first hour with anywhere from three to seven trophies, you're doing really well because your last hour is where it's going to pick up, especially the last, like, half hour for me. Um, and definitely learned a lot up here. Also, one thing I heard, guys, when we were streaming is, Rotations don't matter when it comes to trophies. Boy, is that couldn't be any crazier of a thought to me than ever. You guys saw yesterday, we had seven spots. I used five in my rotation. You definitely want to rotate. Catch one and move. You do not. There is a misconception, I think, out there. If you guys haven't seen my trophy mechanics video or my unique mechanics videos, these are not commons. Commons, you could stay in the same spot, catch them like crazy. Um, trophies still have limits, guys, just like uniques. But uh, generally, trophies are a lot easier to catch. 
and there's more of them in that limit. Uh, for example, uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's generally a set limit in a certain area and a certain time. So uh, for crappies, it's really high. You're not going to run into it here because it's so high. But crappies, it's, it's five in one spot every half an hour. It could be six. I'm not sure on that. But it seems like it's five. Um, and that does seem to be the case for all three qualifiers. But you definitely want to rotate around, guys. The, you do not want to sit in one spot the whole time. You're only probably going to catch maybe 10 trophies the whole time if you're just sitting in a spot. You want to rotate around, and you want to get rolling um, on this. So for the spots here, uh, just keep in mind, if you're catching a couple white suckers and you're getting annoyed by it, go shallower if you want. You can go deeper if you're not having issues with it. Um, but this is spot one right here. I will show you all the spots. You can pause these to put these in if you want. Um, but there is five spots here. And you want to catch one and move. Now, like I said, the beginning is going to be super slow. Um, and you're going to want to use leeches. Uh, everything else kind of is knit or pick. Now, for Qualifier 3, it's a little different. I will show you uh, when I get done doing more practice at Qualifier 3. I'll have a guide for Qualifier 3 tomorrow. So this is spot 3. And then 4 is here. And then 5 is here. And if you want to do it how I do my rotations here, is it's you catch a trophy... Move to your next spot. So there's two over here. And at this spot here, it can be any round way around the lily pads. I'm just casting here because it's shortest distance. And then, then keep moving along. If you don't catch a trophy, I would move every five or so minutes. Um, you know, if that's, you know, five to maybe seven minutes. Don't stay past that if you're not catching trophies. Just move to the next spot. And like I said, you're, you're never going to hit your trophy limited amount in that area here, so you're good to go. Even me yesterday, catching 46, I never caught more than five in one spot in one half hour, uh, and I was able to get 46. Today, uh, if you can get 25 trophies, you're sitting really good. Obviously, a few people will have crazy runs like I did yesterday. Somebody's going to have like 35 trophies. But I think the majority of people in this tournament are going to have 15 to 25. Um, and you want quantity over quality. So that's the reason you want to use a smaller hook size and not go with a big hook. Is Sure, the ones you get out might be decent, but you'd rather hit 5 or 10 more using a smaller hook. Um, anyway, hopefully this helps out. If you guys have questions, just ask down below. I'll try to be... So, uh, answer everything like I always do uh, but you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you next time folks